This is a demonstration of basic multitasking in Samsung's One UI and how to use the new DeX mode. First, for normal multitasking without DeX mode, start by opening a single app, which will open in full screen. If you click the bar at the top of the app, you have options to convert the app into a pop-up window or to add another app and create a split screen. If you choose split screen, you will see recent and most used apps up top, followed by your complete app drawer to select from. The other way to create a split screen is to simply drag and drop any other app onto the already open app. The initial split can be done vertically or horizontally. You can then adjust the slider to size each app the way you want, and if you tap the three dots in the middle of the slider, there is a button that allows you to change whether the split is horizontal or vertical, and another that switches the sides of the two apps. If you want to remove the split, you can slide the slider all the way to the edge until one of the apps disappears. If you want to do a three-way split, start the same way as before, but drag and drop a third app into the split. You will have placement options and sliders for both axes for adjusting the size of the apps. If you tap the center of a slider, where the three dots are, you get buttons that change the orientation or rotate the apps through the split if you want to change their positions. There is also a star button that allows you to save your app and split combination to its own desktop icon, which is convenient if you regularly use a specific combination of apps. To remove one of the three apps, do the same as in the two-way split and drag one of the sliders to the edge until the app you no longer want disappears. You can also convert any of the split-screened apps into pop-up windows by tapping the bar above the app and pressing the window button. And you can re-add it back into the split by pressing the split button on the pop-up window. In addition to having apps split-screened, you can open additional apps in resizable pop-up windows by dragging and dropping them into the center of the screen. For each windowed app you add, you have two options for the style of the top bar of the window. One option has a slimmer profile and hides other functions until you click on it, while the other keeps those functions displayed. You can choose to add a windowed app into the underlying split with the press of a button on the window bar as well, and it will replace one of the existing apps. If you minimize windowed apps, they are converted into floating icons, which can be repositioned wherever you'd like, and to open the windows back up, you simply click the floating icon, where you can choose to pull up each minimized app individually or all of them at once. Note that the star button that saves split-screen combinations will also save any apps that are open in pop-up windows within the current multitasking arrangement. At any given time, you can have multiple multitasking arrangements open at the same time, which you can switch between from the overview screen in the same way that you would switch between single apps. Now we will go through the new DEX mode, which is a mode where all apps open in pop-up windows. For those that were already familiar or used the old DEX, you used to have to manually switch to DEX through settings or the quick settings panel and wait a little bit for the tablet to restart in DEX. New DEX is immediately available without having to make any settings changes or waiting. Open the overview screen and swipe to the right where you will see a shaded area labeled desktop with a number. Select this area. Now everything you open on this desktop will be in pop-up windows. If you go back to the overview screen, you can swipe back or click the home button to return to your normal desktop where apps will remain in their normal multitasking modes. You can have apps open in normal mode and other apps open on your DeX desktop at the same time and switch between the virtual workspaces. You can also click the Add Desktop icon in the overview screen to create more virtual desktops and swipe left or right to switch between them. If you wish to remove an app from a DeX desktop, you can click on the app's top bar and you'll find that option on the left. This will move the app to your normal mode desktop. While some users prefer the look of old DeX, where your desktop icons were smaller and arranged more like a Windows PC, the functionality of new DeX is basically the same and the advantages are that you do not have to wait for the tablet to switch into DeX, and you can run some apps in DeX and some apps in normal mode simultaneously. There are more nuances, functions, and features, but these are the basics, and I hope this is able to help someone.